Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a full review, wear test, and demo on the brand new Tarte face tape foundation. <laughs> I had a look at the bottle because I get the shape, tape shape, what I, see, I'm already having difficulties. I get it mixed around so much, and then they had that other foundation that no one wants to speak about, but they recently launched this one with a 50 shades and five undertones, so I thought it was a pretty safe bet to pick up and test out for you guys, and I have been trying this for a few days. I've tried it several different ways, and I'm ready to give you guys my thoughts, but first, let's get into the description. The face tape foundation retails for $39 and you're getting a full 30 milliliters and just kind of barely barely over an ounce of product the shade that I grabbed is 22 n which is the same as the shade I wore in the concealer because I really don't wear that concealer anymore so it's light neutral reading from the Tarte website it says what it is, inspired by our iconic Shape Tape Concealer, this long-wearing full-coverage foundation mattifies, hydrates, and brightens your appearance. We've bottled up your skin-smoothing filters, selfie settings, and Instagram feedback to create the foundation of your dreams. Plus, this baby comes in 50 shades with five undertones. Now, under what it does, it's long-wearing, full coverage, and a natural matte finish. It is trans transfer proof, waterproof, and sweat proof. And then it has some snow mushroom extract, apple fruit extract, and hyaluronic acid to hydrate and brighten the appearance. And it says to pair it with the shape tape, but I'm not going to do that because I don't like that concealer anymore. It's the craziest thing. I only use it for my eyeshadow primer. It's the only thing I use it for, and I used to be obsessed with it. And then I also want to mention that under the ingredients, I have a no idea why they placed this here, but it says Tarte 12 hour power, so I'm assuming that it's a 12 hour wear foundation. It's vegan, hypoallergenic, and it has 12 hours of hydration. I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation. It actually has a pump this time instead of a doe foot applicator. I only need two pumps of this to do my entire face. And the footage that you are seeing is actually from yesterday. I do have it on right now, but I did the application and wear test and everything all in one day. But I just applied this with a damp sponge. One layer is all you need. You get great coverage. And I find that if I double this up and I try to add, you definitely get more coverage, but at the end of the day, it looks a little bit more cakey. So one layer all over. I don't have any primers on the perimeter of my face, only on my pores like I always do. And up close, you can see this is very smooth and it's definitely what it claims to be. You can see that it's definitely a natural matte finish. It doesn't look too dry, but you don't see anything dewy either other than underneath my eyes, which was where my concealer is. And I feel like this is very smooth. It feels lightweight. I like the coverage of it. Everything looks really nice. And I don't think that you would have to set this because it does set on its own, but I always put powder on. So I'm going to let you guys see what it looks like after I have done my entire makeup routine. And you can see in this clip, it is matte, smooth. It's not cakey looking. It doesn't feel dry or heavy. It just looks really perfected on the skin. So now we're going to fast forward and move to five hours in. It looks exactly the same. No oils have come through. Still very smooth than that. I don't even have any shine around my nose or on my chin or anything. I wasn't looking in the mirror in between all of this. I was doing my editing for a video and just doing other things. So I wasn't even paying attention. So when I saw that five hours in my foundation was still looking this good, I was like, okay. <laughs> and then we're going to move on to the 10 hour mark where I am even more impressed because I, all I can say is that maybe my cheeks look slightly drier, maybe, like really there isn't much of a difference. I still did not get shiny around my nose. I still didn't get shiny on my chin. I really don't have anything to complain about. I even snapped two of my friends on Snapchat and was like, uh, 
like up close to my face. Why does this foundation look like this at 10 hours? And one of my friends was like, um, what color are we? Cause she's the same color as me. And she immediately ordered it. Honestly, I feel like this foundation would wear past the 12 hour claim. For my foundation to look this good at 10 hours is insane to me. And it doesn't feel bad or anything. I'm like, I'm shocked. I am absolutely shocked. I did not expect that out of this foundation. Honestly, I didn't really have any expectations. I thought maybe it would be matte and a foundation I might pick up every now and again. Now I will say that I'm not gonna be grabbing for this all the time because right now during the winter, I definitely prefer to have something that's a little bit more on the natural, not dewy, but like natural satin kind of finish. But I am definitely going to grab this for the days that I want something to really, really last. And it's going to be a great summer foundation. I think that if you are oily, you need to get your hands on this. This is going to look great on somebody who's normal, obviously on somebody who's combo. I am combo, I'll get oily in my T-zone. I can get dry around my mouth. That's another thing. I didn't even get like the smile line marks, which I had gotten with the last, what was it, the Guerlain foundation. I would gotten a little bit of smile line action. Nothing moved. It, it like, was glued to my face and not in a bad way. So I don't know about dry people. I feel like it could work, but it also might be a mess because it is definitely a matte foundation. It's a natural matte, but it's still a matte foundation at the end of the day. So if you were to want to apply this, make sure that you're using a good moisturizer and I would say use Fix Plus. I've tried this with my normal moisturizer, with my magic cream and my by Terry CC Brightening Serum and my Tatcha Silk Canvas. I personally like this best with no primers underneath it other than my pores, which is how I wore it yesterday in the wear test. Today I have the Silk Canvas on. I think it looks great. I think it looks extra smooth today, but I mean, it did well on its own. So I just feel like you don't have to have a primer for this if you don't want to, unless you are dry and you're going to try this out. I would definitely use a hydrating primer or brightening, whatever you want to do underneath this. I wouldn't suggest this to mature skin. I think it's going to be a little bit too dry for you, but this foundation is amazing. I am impressed. I can't I, I don't know. I have I have no words. I am shocked, you guys. But anywho, please let me know if you've already picked this up. What do you think about it? If you plan on picking it up, what do you think about it on my skin? And I'll see you guys in my next video. If you want to see some swatches of this compared to some of my other foundations and up against the light neutral shape tape concealer, just keep watching and I'm going to have those scrolling right after. Love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!